Hi friends, in this video tutorial, I will explain the concept of how to configure spanning tree protocol. In Cisco Packet Tracer, the spanning tree protocol is configured predefinedly. So we no need to configure spanning tree protocol manually. So here I will take Cisco Catalyst switch 2960 switch. Three switches are I will take. So first of all go to the option and select preference. Here I will disable the show link light because if i am tick the show link light means it automatically the spanning tree protocol will be working so if the block report will be display like uh, orange light so here i will disable that light link okay i will connect the crossover cable switch 0 to switch 1 switch 1 to switch 2 okay so we can enable the device label port label okay here we can find out which switch is root bridge and which switch is non root bridge okay first of all we can know the find out the mac address of the switch so here we can see the MAC address of this switch is so that VLAN 1 ok the switch 0 that MAC address is 00, zero the VLAN 1 it can display 0060.5c5c.d210 five five so we can write 005c zero zero six zero dot five C five C dot D two one zero. This is MAC address of switch zero. How to find the MAC address of that switch means we can see VLAN one that MAC address is the switch MAC address remaining MAC address are port MAC address the first Ethernet 0 slash 1 that port MAC address is that's but the entire switch MAC address is the VLAN 1 MAC address is the entire MAC address of that switch so switch 1 means just we can go to enable show version here we can see the MAC address 0060.5c8b okay now we can select the mac address of switch 2 go to the privilege mode here you can give show version show version we can select the mac address base ethernet mac address this mac address is the the switch mac address okay in spanning tree the priority value is common for all cisco catalyst switch because three switch have same priority value 3 to 7, 6, 8. so here we can check the mac address 0, 0, 6, 0, 0, 0, 6, 0, and 0, 0, 9, 0. so this switch have highest mac value so this switch can be eliminated it is non root bridge here now we can compare switch 0 and switch 1 5 5 c c here 5 5 here 8 so this switch is the least mac address so switch 0 is the root bridge you can write root bridge so these two switch are non root bridge okay if the switch is root bridge means that connected ports are designated ports fast ethernet fast ethernet 0 slash 1 and fast ethernet 0 slash 2 or designated ports ok now we can find out the root ports and non designated ports and blocking ports here the switch 1 
can be connected to root bridge the fast ethernet 0 slash 1 is a root port if the switch can be connected to root bridge means that port is said to be root port so fast ethernet 0 fast ethernet 0 slash 1 is a root port so switch 2 also connected to the root bridge through fast ethernet 0 slash 2 so this port also root port ok now fast ethernet 0 slash 2 and fast ethernet 0 slash 1 these two ports any one port can be blocking state so which one is blocking state how should i find out that blocking state of this uh, remaining two ports ok now switch 1 mac address and switch 2 mac address can be compared here we can see 0 0 6 0 0 0 9 0 so the least mac address is switch 1 so fast ethernet 0 slash 2 is a designated ports so fast ethernet 0 slash 2 is a designated ports so fast ethernet 0 slash 1 is a blocking port fast ethernet 0 slash 1 is a blocking port ok now we can check the answer go to the switch 0 in privilege mode we can give show spanning tree here we can see root id so the priority value is common for all the cisco catalyst switch here this switch is a root bridge here we can see root id the address this address is a root bridge so this the is a root bridge so fast ethernet 0 slash 2 and fast ethernet 0 slash 1 both are designated ports here it will display the cost 19 19 means uh, here we will connect fast ethernet port so fast ethernet port cost is 19 ok so fast ethernet 0 slash 1 and 2 both are designated ports now we can check switch 1 go to the switch 1 give show spanning tree here we can see fast ethernet 0 slash 1 is a root port that is fast ethernet 0 slash 1 is a root port then fast ethernet 0 slash 2 is a designated port this port is a designated port ok now we can check the switch to show spanning tree here we can see fast ethernet 0 slash 1 is an alternative port that is blocking port fast ethernet 0 slash 1 is a blocking port and fast ethernet 0 slash 2 is a root port so in cisco catalyst switch the spanning tree protocol is inbuilt so we no need to configure manually every two seconds first of all we can design this topology every two seconds switch 0 switch 1 and switch 2 vice versa since is bridge protocol data units in bridge protocol data units it contains the bridge id in bridge id it contains two field priority value and mac address so switch 0 sends bridge protocol data units to switch 1 and switch 2 in that bridge protocol data units it contains the priority value and mac address so depends upon the mac address it will select the root bridge